Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to, feel free to skip things, change things, do what feels right for you throughout your practice. Let's begin on our backs today. You can come into a Shavasana type position. <coughs> go ahead and spread out. Either close your eyes or take a soft gaze up towards the ceiling. Slow down your breath. Let's see if you can keep coming back to this slow, steady breath anytime your mind wanders or it becomes shallow again. Just as soon as you notice, come back, slow down. And you're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you. Let's begin by sliding arms overhead, stretching out long. Interlace your fingers, press out through your palms, flex your feet. And then bring the right knee in, give it a good squeeze. Extend the right leg up towards the ceiling, holding somewhere behind your leg. Flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. Bend your knee in, open your knee out to the right, and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side. Grounding down through the back of the left leg. Release, bend your knee, bring it across, spinal twist. Staying in your twist, try straightening your right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal. And then release, roll back onto your back, bring both knees in, little circle or rock, and then grab hold of just the left knee, drop the right leg long, squeeze this knee in close, straighten this leg up, and then flex and point your left foot. Circle your ankle a few times each direction. Bend your knee in, open it out to the left, and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side. Bend your knee in, bring it across. Spinal twist, first with a bent knee. And then straighten the left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal. Release, roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in, take a little circle or rock. Roll your way up and come all the way into a high push-up position. Set your hands, shoulder width apart, fingers spread. Connect your whole body in a straight long line and then shift your weight forward to lower down. Come into your back bend, and that could be low or high. Cobra or up dog. And then back to down dog when you're ready, hips high. You might pedal out your feet a little bit. Feeling around within each pose. What are you noticing now? 
Let's walk hands and feet towards one another and hang in ragdoll. Feet hip width apart, parallel. You can bend your knees a little or a lot. Maybe a little sway or shake out. Hmm. And then bend your knees a little more and roll up to standing. One vertebrae at a time, stacking up. Let's step up to the front of the mat. We'll bring hands together. Feet can be together or apart. Standing tall, mountain pose. And we'll take a full A-series sun salutation. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. From down dog, let's take the right leg up, bend your knee in, and start circling this bent right knee, making the biggest circle possible for your hip joint, feeling what you're doing. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Adjust your footing if needed. Sweep the arms up. Sink hips low. <clears throat> Let's grab the left wrist. Take it across for a little side bend. Come over to the other side. Grab your left, uh, grab your right wrist. Take it across. And come back to center. Interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the chest. Hips low, heart high. Release arms up. Tip forward. <clears throat> Standing splits. Hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square. And with the upper body letting go, let the weight of your head hang. Stretch that left leg straighter, longer, higher. Mm. Last breath here. Step back. Warrior one. Let's come into eagle arms. Right elbow on top. Lift the chest. <coughs> Sink the hips. Opening up the upper back in a nice big arch. And then shift your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot, step into Eagle Garudasana, knee on top of knee. If you can, hook your ankle around your calf, do so. If it doesn't reach, just hug it in close. Last breath here. Unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. You may want to grab a block for your bottom hand or bend your bottom leg. Extend that top arm high, reaching up through the fingers, past the fingers. Last breath here. Release, make your way back to down dog. You might take a vinyasa, high to low push up, up dog or cobra to down dog. It can move in any way that feels right for you. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee in and start circling. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight and then left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Sink low. Grab your right wrist, take it over. Little side bend.
come over to the other side. And back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Other thumb on top this time, we don't normally cross. Release arms up, tip forward, standing splits. Square off the hips, reach that back leg long, let your head hang. Last breath, step back, warrior one. Let's come into eagle arms, left elbow on top this time. Open up the upper back, spreading the torso, hips low, head and chest high. Shift your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot and then step into Eagle, Garudasana. Last breath. Unwind. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Last breath here, release, make your way back to down dog, feeling what you're doing. Five deep breaths in down dog or you could come to child's pose or sitting, any neutral shape. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back, exhale fold. Bend your knees, arms up, inhale chair, sink low, head high, shoulders low, fingers high. Engage the abdominals, soften your face. Last breath. Release, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Let's try crow. If you don't want to do crow today, you could hang in a forward fold or come to a squat if you want to try it. Bring hands shoulder width apart, knees to the upper arms. Shift your weight forward, more weight in the hands, less weight in the feet. Wherever you are now, feel where you are, breathing deeply. If you were in your hands, come back to your feet. Let's try stand hand, one hand at a time, slides under the feet so the toes are up to the wrists. You might push into the toes to give the pads of the hands a little massage. Make our way back to down dog. If you want to take crow again, work on hopping out of crow, you're welcome. You could also just step back or take a regular vinyasa to get back. Feel what you're choosing to do. Right leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Let's come into a twist. So you could take the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Or there's lots of other variations of this. You might bring your left hand to the floor instead. If you'd rather do this as a low lunge, you could drop the back knee. Last breath here. Release. 
hands to the floor or two blocks if you have them. Drop the back knee. If you want to pad it, you could roll up the side of your mat or if you have a blanket or cushion, you might use that. Take the hips back, inch the front foot forward, flex the toes back, coming into a hamstring stretch. Hands as high as you need them. And if you want to slide further forward towards splits, you're welcome to do that. Finding your edge. You did slide forward, slide your way back. To release, we'll bring both hands to the inside, turn out through the right foot, shift weight forward for lizard pose. You can come down onto your elbows, on blocks or the floor, or stay on your hands. And if you want to add a quad stretch to this, you could bend the back leg, reach for it, and draw it in. If that doesn't work for you, don't do it, and don't worry about it. release, making your way back to down dog. You might take a vinyasa. You might just step back. Could move in any other way. From down dog, left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Come into a twist here. Right elbow cross, or maybe you take your hand to the floor. Come into some similar variation to what you did on the first side. Last breath. Release hands to the floor or to your blocks. Drop the back knee. Take the hips back, inch the front foot forward, flex toes back, hamstring stretch, listening to your body, exploring what your limits are and breathing there. And at any moment you might go deeper or back out a little bit so you stay right at your edge. If you did slide forward, slide your way back, both hands to the inside, turn out through the left foot. Shift weight forward for lizard. You can adjust how your weight is, shift it more left or right, front, back. You could add your quad stretch to this. Make your way back to down dog. Hmm, just a couple moments, evening out the two sides. Let's come all the way through to sitting and onto our backs. I'm going to start winding down this practice. If you want to keep going, you're welcome to. If you'd like to join me in finishing, I'm going to suggest a back bend next, but you can wrap things up in any way you like. If you want to join me in bridge, bring your feet to the floor, hip width apart, parallel, lift the hips, interlace fingers behind your back, shrug your shoulders underneath you. Breathing, feeling where you are. And the pose feels complete. 
come down and rest. <sighs> if you want to come up again, take any back bend. Could be bridge again, could be half wheel, full wheel, any other variation. When your back bends feel complete, take a counter stretch. Could be happy baby, a forward fold, knees to chest, or something else. Keep checking in with your body. What's needed now? Is there any last pose or stretch? Anything you want to do to feel complete in your practice? the time you need and when you're ready to come into Shavasana get as comfortable as you can it only takes a couple seconds to put on some layers or grab a prop get comfortable maybe a little self massage helping different parts of your body release Eventually settling into stillness. <sighs> Letting go of the control of your breath. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, gently waking your body up again. Let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles, eventually stretching out long through your arms and legs. Bring your knees in. Roll to one side. And then use your hands to help you up to sitting. Come into a comfortable cross-legged position. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you have a good rest of your day.